everybody today I'm making another project I hope everybody's being blessed today and I hope everybody's staying healthy and safe out there so today I'm going to design this flip-flop and I'm going to design this design that I made I made this design out of my bees and my um, my gems okay so to start this project you're gonna need a brand new flip-flop and these are size seven and a half you're gonna need some clamps you're gonna need some scissors you're gonna need some B pliers or any pointy pliers will do you're gonna need a margin marker any kind of margin marker if you want to use a nail filer you could use a nail filer you're gonna need E6 dowsing glue you're going to need a ruler you're going to need um, any kind of wire it could be sewing wire fishing wire B wire but I use the fishing wire I like it because it's strong and then you're going to need a needle size 7 or 6 even 8 is good just as long as strong enough to go through bees or sew through the strap then I have a needle holder in case any of my needles break I have um, some bling bling and this is the bling ribbon I'm going to use it comes in two colors but today I'm using the white one they also have it in um, this is a warm-up and they also have it in the dollar store and it's called diamond wrap they have it in all sorts of colors you can check it out so you're gonna need a trim of the bling wrap measure yours mine is like 60 size 60 so 60 centimeters so measure yours to put in the side this one is seven centimeters a long one and then you're gonna need which you're gonna need two of those because it's two flip-flops you're gonna need two for the side to for the for the um, strap to strap it on the top so you need two of those and I believe this is probably like a 17 I'm not quite sure um, what size is it but I could measure it right now and see is a size 23 centimeters 23 centimeters but I might cut it in case it's too long so you need two of those then you're gonna need two long ones I keep it long and then I cut it when I need to so it could be a little longer this is a seven centimeters so it could be longer than that it, it could be maybe a uh, 10 centimeters and I have this design that I made out of pearls two pearls and four four um, gens and I what I did is I glued it on to plastic wrap and you could see that in another video if you want to it's the other video for this is called tips and ideas okay all right so let us start let us start first thing you're going to do is we're going to take the strap out from the back with the pliers you push it in on the top top side and you just push it in okay that's one sometimes it would be hard and sometimes it would be easy depends the flip-flop okay we're going to move the flip-flop to the side and I'm going to take um, the um, tag out and what you're going to do is you're going to cut the long piece to so know the long piece like I always say is always 
The one in the outside is the long one. The short one is the one that's inside the curve of the flip-flop. So that way you can know the difference. So the long one is the one I'm going to cut. Okay. This is how you cut it. What we have to do is smooth it down. You could trim it, the bump, but it won't be so bumpy. And it could be nice and smooth. Like this is good. Okay. It's a beautiful day outside, the motorcycles are out, everybody's outside, I'm joining the, doing this video outside because it's nice and warm today, it's not cold, so the weather is good, it's a little bit breezy because, and the wind is blowing all the leaves from the trees, we're in the middle of four. Okay, so now you're going to measure seven centimeters, seven seven centimeters I will put my finger right there on the seven if you could see it seven centimeters it will be I will put my finger right there on the seven and you could take the margin marker and you could but I'm going to just cut it right there because I already know it's seven centimeters with my fingers. Okay, measure again, and it's seven centimeters, all right? Seven centimeters. Okay, you take this part, put it on the side, and you're going to take both of the strap, they look alike, the small one and the big one, and we're going to sew it together but before you sew it together, we're going to make sure that you cut it even. Cut the strap even, because it's not even. So you can sew it. Okay. When you sew it, you just go and make sure you sew in the middle, going around, and then on the side, and then the side. Going around and around, a couple of laps. All right, so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to sew it. Sorry about that. I'm going to sew it. Okay, I already sewed it. So now I'm going to sew the middle. And to sew the middle, you have to take your strap and you have to make sure they're even from the bottom. Even them out. And then you squeeze it there in the bottom and you go all the way up and what you want to do you could take the needle and put it up there but for beginners you could just measure right in the middle with a margin marker that way you will know exactly where's the neat middle at okay so I'm just marking it now for the new beginners who are just watching my started watching my show my 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 channel and that's the middle and the middle is for your strap for the middle strap which you are going to line it up and you're going to put it right there in the middle and you're going to sew it sew it going around and around in circle okay so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to sew sew the other strap together okay i finished sewing the middle and the side i mean the top and the middle all together and this is the way it's supposed to look and now I'm going to take one of the bling bling straps that goes across the long one and it's this one and I'm going to wrap it up with the wire I have it extra long that way I'll cut it when I get there to the end but right now I'm gonna start from right here I'm gonna start right there is where I'm going to start wrapping it up 
and then wherever if it's too long in the bottom I will cut it okay all right I'm gonna take my fishing wire I'm not gonna cut the fishing wire I'm gonna line the end of of it I could tie it if I want to and tie it in the middle but I'm just gonna hold it hold it with my thumb and I'm gonna hold it right there in the middle and I'm just going to go slowly I'm gonna go I'm not gonna go fast because then it'll come out so I'm just gonna go slowly Oops, let me do this again slowly on the bottom on the bottom sorry on the bottom one and then when I do that wrap first wrap then I go tight I do the second one tight that's two three and four Oops. I did four going around okay now I'm gonna push my finger down to the next one which is right there and I'm going to go over there and I'm gonna go one two three and make sure it's nice and tight and then go to the next one one two three hold on to the wire make sure it's nice and tight let me go to the fourth one right where my finger is at one two and three go down to the next one one two three it becomes faster when you start getting used to it by doing a lot of flip-flops and you become faster but in the meantime for beginners go slow but you don't lose your place and if you do lose your place you just lift it up and then you'll know where the wire where you left the wire okay so this is the end of the wire from the other piece so now I'm in this side one two three go down one two three Go to the next one. One, two, three. You don't have to worry if this is sticking out right here because when you finish going all the way down, you could cut that, that extra piece. All right, so I'm gonna finish it going all the way down to the bottom, okay? All right. Okay, I end up to the bottom. And I want to cut this long piece that I got here so I'm going to cut it around around here right there is where I'm gonna cut it I don't need it to be all the way in the bottom so let's see I could cut all the way more down I have wrapped it so I think I'm just gonna cut more oops sorry I'm gonna cut more right here so I'm gonna cut that other extra piece this there's there I'm gonna cut that extra piece because that's an extra piece that I don't really need and then I'm right there in the tip that's exactly where I want it to, for it could be just like the other one okay now I'm gonna do my wrap three times and then I'm gonna take the clamp and I'm gonna hold the clamp with that and then I'm going to sew it but I did the whole thing okay now I'm going to sew it okay I finished tying it up made a couple of knots and I went in with the needle and back with the needle and in with the needle made a knot and then I cut it and then I cut it 
okay now you could fix the diamonds up and wherever you see extra thread hanging you could cut it all right so now I'm going to take the other short piece that I have there and I'm going to wrap it up here this is what I'm going to do you wrap it up with the fish wire going all around and around and around all the way to the end you get to the end you tie it and you make a knot with the needle and you t and you cut it okay so now I'm going to take this one next and I'm going to um, put it in the middle and it's long so I'm just gonna continue going around and when when I see that it's good enough for me and then I cut it okay so I'm gonna take this one with my thumb and put it right there and you go slowly first I'm gonna go slowly not too fast the first round you go very slowly okay so I'm gonna go slowly and then when it's there and you got that grip then you go tight one two three and four okay so I got that good grip there and I'm gonna go to the next one Gonna go on the on the second one right there one two and three you're doing this with the wire you could do this with ribbon if you want or thread some strong thread but I like to do it with the fishing wire but it's your choice you could do it with skinny ribbon it's good also if you want to do it with ribbon you could do it with ribbon it's wherever you want to do it with because with ribbon it will work also all right so now I'm going to finish it up going all the way down just finish it up all the way down with the wire okay okay <clears throat> excuse me I finished doing the front sold it even out the diamonds make sure they're nice and even and now I'm going to sew this piece here that I have made with the bees I gotta make sure it's centered right in the middle and here I use the plastic convents so if you want to see that video how I made this is in video ideas tips and ideas that's the name of the video so you can see how I made this so I'm going to sew this next on, <clears throat> excuse me, to the strap. This is the next piece that I have to sew. So I'm going to sew it from inside and out, inside with the needle, coming out and inside. Okay, that's the next, next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to sew it right now. Okay, I finished sewing it. It's nice and tight. It's not going to go nowhere. So now all I have to do is put the trim. Now if you want to, you could put glue lace, straight lace all the way over here, all the way down. If you don't want to fill the, the, if you don't want to fill the fishing wire on your skin, you could always get a straight a, a lace in and glue it or 
uh, cut it the same size of the strap and glue it and you won't feel the um you won't feel the fishing wire okay this is how it should look i'm going to put this away in the side and i'm going to glue on the strap all right and that's the next thing i'm going to do the last thing is put it on the strap so glue it from the back always glue it from the back of the heel start from the back when you're going to put on the trim of the bling bling because um, that's where it, when you go around it, it will end there it won't be in the front and people won't see it even though you can't really see the difference of the bling bling where it started but I like to put it in the back I like to start from the back all right, here we go. All right. Make sure you smooth it down and make sure that it's even on both level, on the top and the bottom. And smooth it down. Smooth the glue, the, the bling bling down in. Press in while you're smoothing. That way it could go right on the glue. Okay. There we go. All right. All the motorcycles are out today. Everybody's riding their motorcycle. I could hear them outside today. Still, it's still a beautiful day outside. It's still nice and warm. It's not even cold. Hope everybody's enjoying this day. Thank you for all the viewers watching my videos. Thank you. And sharing it. Leave your comments. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we're always in the curve. Always have to make sure that the curve of the flip-flop is well in, you know, like well glued it in because this is the part that always pops up. So make sure that that's really well glued in there. All right. Finish smoothing it up and line it up straight. Make sure it's even and straight. Okay. This is the last I have to do is put the trim, the trim of the bling bling. And then I could just put the strap on. All right, let me finish it up. Here we go. Smooth it down. And I have three, one, two, three blings, not two. Sometimes I use two, but on this one I'm using three. Thank you. 
smooth it down and line it up smooth it up there we go make it nice and smooth and make sure it's lined up from the top and the bottom all right and the last is the end up here which okay here we go and i think it's going to be too long that i'm going to have to cut it i know it was 60 centimeters just the, the trim so i guess it's going to be i'm taking a little bit of it the first strap strip right there and this should fit right there yeah there we go that should fit just right, perfect. Let's smooth it down. All right. Make sure you smooth it down and see if there's not no open gap. Like over here, there's an opening over here in the bottom. Always got to check to see the bottom part of the foot. Just check to see if make sure it's glued on. Because when you walk, it could easily fall out if you don't have it glued on. So this side needed to be glued on. Always check to see which side is open. Make sure it's nice and glued on. Even in the front. Even in the front should be nice and glued. Alright, so it looks good so far. It looks good. Okay. So now I'm going to sit, let it sit there and dry. Just for a couple minutes. And then I'm going to put the strap on. All right. All right. I'm going to put the strap on so I can finish up this video. And this is the last thing to do is to put it on the strap. Then I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share this video with everybody that you know. And let me know how your sandals come out, how your flip-flops come out when you make this project. Leave your comments. Okay. So you make sure that you, you snap it in and you turn it. That it turns. Okay. This is the last, and then I'm almost done. Mm, cool. All right, there we go. Okie dokie. And this is how it should look. And here's the other one, all done. This is the way it should look. All done. May you be blessed.